Well, I'm climbing a mountain. Okay, mountain might be overstating it, but it's a small mountain or a large hill, I guess. Uh, it's called Exploration Peak, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, it's on the southern edge of Vegas. And uh, it's cool. You get a nice view of, you get a 360 degree view. I'm not at the top right now. But in the background there, I think you can see the strip. Um, and, well, that's part of the hill I haven't climbed yet. But, yeah, you, you can just see lots of lovely mountains and the whole range of the city. Um, I was at the top earlier today, but there was a guy just yelling at me for no reason and made it hard to record a video. I recorded a video, but I don't know how it came out. I kind of gave up <laughs> part of the way through it because of that, but uh, yes, uh, you know, I was in search of places to get some exercise. Um, I mean, of course, I can always go to a gym. I mean, I've been going to the gym to shower, but um, I could actually work out inside. I prefer to work out outside, but I'll work out inside in a pinch. Um, but yeah, I like walking. Elevation gain. I mean, I used to run. I used to be a runner. It's a little hard for me to run right now, so these days I typically climb hills or climb stairs, that type of thing, or just walk for miles. I mean, you can walk on the strip here and get some exercise. There's even stairs you can climb on the strip, you know, because they have those, like, bridges that go across the strip instead of having you walk across the actual road since it's, you know, quite busy and everything like that. But, um... Uh, but I prefer to come to a, a, a mountain, you know, or a trail, uh, as opposed to the strip. There's a lot of congestion on the strip. There's a lot of car exhaust, so it doesn't necessarily pair well with a workout. <laughs> it's nicer here. This is a nice little hike. I mean, it doesn't take too long to get to the top, but you still get a bit of a workout. I'm trying to do it for the second time today, although... It is getting dark, so I should I should head down, but I don't know, I kind of want to get to the top um, and have show you that view, but I don't know if I will get all the way there tonight, right now, sunset, dusk, Ugh. I love a view, you know? hiking up and getting a view and it's cool they have this neat round little area you can stand in and spin around and just see everything the great mountains surrounding Vegas some of them even have snow and uh yeah so anyway this is one hike I'm gonna check out there's others too I could go up to uh, Red Rock, um, or there's something called Lone Mountain, I think, and uh, uh, there's a, there's like a wetlands park. I don't know if it's actual wetlands. We are in the desert after all. It's surprising to me after all the time I spent in Vegas, I don't think I've ever checked out the wetlands park, but it's a bit curious, isn't it? Maybe it's just wetlands when it rains, you know, in the rare times when it rains. You know, sometimes when it rains in Vegas, they get like big rivers that form because the ground is so, the ground is so hard that liquid doesn't really absorb into it very easily. So you can get quite insane, dangerous conditions if any significant rainfall occurs. Um, so they have all these washes in different parts of town. Um, you may have seen, I think earlier this year there was quite a rainstorm and even some of the casinos were like leaking. There was like all this water just pouring into like the casino floors. <laughs> I mean I wasn't here for that but I did see videos of it. It looked pretty insane. Well, 
I did make it to the top. It might be a little creepy to be here at actual dark, so I should probably wrap it up and go down and get back to my car. But I did want some more exercise today. I was sitting in Starbucks earlier working on some stuff and I needed to get, get the blood flowing, but uh, here, so I made it to the top now. There's like this uh, little stone area you can go in and spin around and see everything. Yeah, it's nice. I, I got the daytime view earlier, now I'm getting the night view. So let's spin around. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, in real life, it looks so much bigger. I think that's the strip in the frame now, but it's, oh, there it is. I guess that's, oh yeah, that's it right there. Okay, it's kind of blocked by that. Let's move. There it is. I think you can see. Um, what else is notable? I don't know, earlier when I was here, I just saw the strip. I saw um, all the beautiful mountains. And I guess you could say, you can see the massive sprawl. <laughs> I mean, the moment I arrived in Vegas, I was struck by how much how sprawl there is here. I mean, it's, it's a roughly like 30, it's kind of like a, the whole metropolitan area, I mean, including Henderson and stuff is, it's roughly like, has like a 30 mile diameter. So it's kind of big. I mean, bigger than other metro areas I've recently been driving in, let's put it that way. You know, like, so I'm gonna to start heading down. Don't wanna stay up here into true darkness. Um, but, um, yeah, like when I was driving in Reno and Portland, um, it didn't seem quite as sprawly as here. So sometimes you look on the map and you're like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And then it's, it's quite a drive. It can take time to get from one point to another. But, I mean, there are highways and stuff, so there are ways to move a little faster, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a spread out area, depending on where you want to go. You know, Summerlin, Henderson, I'm down in the uh, en so Enterprise, I think it might be called, southern part, which is kind of like a newer part, I think, you know, there's a lot of like new construction, new homes in this area, so it's like just less, less history here, it's just, you know, there's a lot of strip malls in this town, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, but um, anyways, well, I will uh, scurry on down this path and get in my car and, well, probably get some dinner, I think, next on the agenda. And then maybe some more work tonight. Um, Got to prepare for some tutoring sessions I have coming up. And, uh... But yes, I will sign off and hope you're having a nice evening, enjoying some outdoor views wherever you are, perhaps, and uh, I will catch you in the next one.